You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris. Good Tuesday to you, sir. Not just Tuesday, it's the very first of November. I know. Ready. Jeez. Isn't that crazy? Going right ahead. Another, another month. Another Does great it, month. Man. Jeez. It's impossible. And it's uh, All Saints Day, by the oh, way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. He's got a favorite saint. You know? No. Really? I'm a Christopher guy. St. Christopher? Yeah, St. Christopher guy. Our son wears a St. Christ- Christopher necklace all the time. Traveling saint for protection. Yeah, also kind of a fan of uh, St. Uh, Michael Archangel. Oh. Fascinating story there, too. St. Peter, if I were going to guess. I'd probably say that's be my favorite. Okay, well, there you go. It's also uh, Pet Groomer Appreciation Day. Oh, wow. Coincidence? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So, I wonder why that's today. I don't know. It's just hard to tie the two together. Yeah. I couldn't build a bridge to save my life. <laughs> the day after Halloween, and my kids got all this candy, caught oh, my dog's holy hair. Can you cow. cut this out? I don't know. I'm not really sure why it would be today. Uh, this guy was lighting up the pavilion just a couple weeks ago as a birthday today. Happy birthday. Happy 65th to Lyle Lovett. Nice. Oh, Happy yeah. birthday, Lyle. Lyle Lovett and his large band. You know, he did a cover, and, and it was, uh, I love the album. It was Lyle Lovett and his large band. To cover, and I thought it was a joke because I'm looking at the song listings on the CD case when I first bought it. I went, Stand By Your Man. It's like, oh, he did huh. Stand By Your Man. The Tammy Wynette song? Yeah, well, that's weird. Anyway, I plugged it in, turned it on, and it was a cover of the Tammy Wynette and he nailed it. It's fantastic. Oh, you thought man. maybe it was a parody. It was not. Huh. And huh. It was really, really good. And he was married to Julie Roberts for like Yes, he minutes, was. So actually yeah. almost two years. Yeah. And her birthday was just the other day, wasn't it? It was. Yeah, I remember that. Fantastic. I do have to say, I was not aware at all of who Lyle Lovett even was until he married um, Julia Roberts. Lyle's fantastic. Julia yeah. got, oh, his voice is phenomenal. Julia got the better end of that. Yeah, he's amazing. If I had to have soup with one or the other, I'd go with Lyle. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just would. Well, first of all, she's got a huge mouth. I would be distracted watching her try to eat her soup. <laughs> That's got to be sloppy. <laughs> All right, speaking of which... <laughs> Please, Dan, talk. <laughs> why doesn't Heidi say more? <laughs> this is why. 1993 Playboy model. Now a panelist on A Masked Singer and all kinds of stuff. Jenny McCarthy's 50 today. Oh. She's married to Donnie Wahlberg. Is she really? In case oh, you I didn't, didn't know. know that. Yeah, she dated Jim Carrey back in the early 2000s. I remember that, and the whole yeah, immunization she, debacle. She's been married to in. Donnie for, for a number of years now, very, oh. very happily. I did That's not awesome. know. Yeah, just thought I would would share that because that's interesting. That is interesting. He's the front man, the madman for the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Anthony Kiedis is 6T today. Wow. 6T today, Red Hot Hmm. Chili Peppers. On my ringtones, of course, Under the Bridge, Scar Tissue, and California Cash. But we got a little dramatic reading from (laughs) my 1991 classic. Give it away. <clears throat> Give it away. Give it away. Give it away now. Give it away. Give it away. Give it away now. Give it away. Give it away. Give it away now. Thank you. Oh, my. That's you, lovely. They've never owned a thesaurus. <laughs> <laughs> they gave it away. They gave it away. <laughs> Historically <laughs> speaking, this morning, <laughs> this happened in 1834. The very first published reference to the card game of poker. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Referring to a Mississippi riverboat game. Oh. Hmm. Kind of cool. Yeah. I like poker. I do too. 1968, the, boy, things have changed a lot. 1968, Motion Picture Association of America introduces their first rating system for movies. It was simply a G and M, an R, R, and X. Yeah, it was that a lot was simpler. It. General, mature, restricted, oh. and uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they've gotten them way more complicated now, like uh, NC 17, PG. I honestly 17. don't understand it anymore. Me neither. I'm I like, don't. It's like, is it a good movie or it's not a good it's movie? Like, uh, it's like, can you bring? Well, I'm surprised. Some of the, even the G or M rated stuff anymore. It's like, 
Mm. I wouldn't bring my nine year old to that. No, yeah. exactly. Well, I know. It's like they keep lower like, in the bar. Yeah, they like, do. No. Oh, and no. that's sad. The kids wouldn't understand it. That joke's just for the adults. Mm. And I'm like, no. And then the kids are asking, why did all the adults just laugh at that? Right. So and then you got to explain it anyway. Under the headlines of, gosh, hmm, there's really nothing new under the sun. It was this day, 1979. United States federal government floats a $1.5 billion loan to Chrysler Motors. Yeah, that was so I that. That was a bit cringy. Weird. I was so upset about that. Well, they probably had no idea that just 21 years later that they'd come out with the PT Cruiser. They never, <laughs> never would have done it. 2001. Boy, that was a classic, huh? Four cylinders, 150 <laughs> no horsepower. Should be bailed out. Dodge neon chassis with a deformed station wagon body. <laughs> I had one of those. <laughs> they were horrible. You have owned some of the worst cars <laughs> in the history of the world. I've also, in my family, we've had a Pacer, a Gremlin, uh, yeah, a yeah, what's yeah, that yeah, Pontiac yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah. Aztec. Aztec. <laughs> I mean, we're nailing it. Like, you look at, there's seriously a list of the 10 worst vehicles. We, We've in my them. family, have owned over half of them. See, and if there were more of you people, taxpayers would have never had to bail these guys out. <laughs> Man, I'm, I did my part. I tried to help. See, isn't that a PT Cruiser? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you sexy beast, yeah. You sexy beast. <laughs> It was craptastic. It really was. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, oh, man. You know what? I know, and now you know. We all know. We just bounce ahead. Going to do that. It's the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Sunny 93.3. Super excited to visit right now with Gail Dickerson from Big Paws K9. How are you doing, Gail? Great, John. Thank you. How about you? I'm fantastic, and I'm really excited, and I see Heidi's buying us some tickets, so I'm even more excited for the custom AR-15 gun raffle. And anybody who's fans of when cool stuff this would be a really cool thing to win and let's talk a little bit about how they get a ticket and and let's talk about this gun it's a special gun isn't it yes uh our founder steve slavic owns uh, a gun shop and an outdoor shooting range at his home in south carolina and he built this gun and it's all custom and um where his logo is normally laser etched in we have the big paws logo nice laser etched in and the uh there's there's pieces of the gun that are also furniture yeah the furniture my son taught me this i know because of him uh, that's all the stuff that's on there that's all the furniture yes all the furniture that's that's just a fun thing to say when you're (laughs) talking about a gun But I'm reading on here, it's an Echo 6 custom-built AR-15 matched upper and lower Springfield St. Bolt Carrier Group. This is stuff that I don't know for sure, but I bet somebody listening is going, oh, cool. 16-inch sub MOA Echo 6 custom barrel 17th. Uh, 5.56. Again, I don't know what that is, but it's all very impressive, I'm sure. And this is the most impressive thing. The proceeds go to benefit Big, Paw- Big Paws Canine Foundation, which is an amazing organization. I love what you guys do. For somebody listening right now that's going, okay, Big Paws, I've heard of them, but I'm not sure what they do. What do you guys do? We train and donate service and companion animals for disabled veterans and former first responders. And this is an amazing thing. And that's a, a group of people that we absolutely love, near and dear to our hearts. So I love the fact that we get to work with you guys on a really regular basis. And if there's something people listening right now want to do to help, if they're going, I would like to help, this would be a great way to help because you can donate some money. And you get a chance to win a really cool custom AR-15. But they can donate money anytime, right? Absolutely. I never turn down donations. So if there's maybe somebody listening who is the person in charge of making those decisions for a company and they're going, okay, um, it's the third quarter now. Believe it or not, it's October. It's the third quarter, which seems weird. October, November, December, year's almost done. If you're going, hey, we'd like to make a contribution to a nonprofit between now and the end of the year, if they reach out to you, they could do that as well, couldn't they? Absolutely. And we are 501c3 nonprofit, yeah. so we offer tax receipts. And it's such a great organization. And I know several people who firsthand have received 
a companion animal from Big Paws Canine, and it's changed your life. It's such a great thing. And the proof is right there when you get to see what you do, not just because, you know, it's on some spreadsheet somewhere, but in real life and you get to see what a difference it makes. I mean, it's it's amazing. So I appreciate what you do. And I think it's awesome that you're doing a custom AR-15 gun raffle. And I like I said, Heidi bought some tickets. Now I'm going to feel really guilty if we win. So. <laughs> <laughs> but she's buying them. She's buying those tickets. You can too. So and you don't have to feel guilty if you win. It'd be a good thing because somebody's going to win. When will the, the raffle for this particular gun be? The draw is going to be on December the 17th, so just in time for Christmas. Nice. And and there'll be some additionals in the future, too. So this is not the last raffle, right? Correct. We're going to do a whole series. So we start off with the AR-15. Our next one for Memorial Day is going to be a handgun. And the third and final gun in the series is going to be around Labor Day, and that's going to be a 12-gauge shotgun. Nice. And we're going to have that decorated with pheasants. Oh, that is awesome. So if you would like to get involved in all of those, you got to get started now. The first drawing is going to be in December, but you can get your tickets now. It's for a custom AR-15. I'm going to throw a link with all the information that I have. Uh, we'll do that on our Facebook page. And then if they want to buy a ticket, how do I get this? Because Heidi just got one from you, but they just track you down. You can track us down. <laughs> you can look up our 844 number if you go to our website, bigpawsk9.com. Our 844 number is on there, and you can leave a message uh, and I'm more than happy to meet up with anybody who's looking to buy some tickets. Nice. Very, very cool. Gail, thank you for doing what you guys do. Well, thank you so much for and, the recognition. And thank you for coming in to chat with me about this. And uh, again, like I said, Heidi's buying some tickets. I encourage you. That's my challenge to you today is to reach out to Gail and get at least one, but it would be nice if you get a few. How many tickets are there total? Do you know what the total the, number is? I do know. The, the total number is only 500. We're only that's selling 500 per so, gun. So that's for every one of the people listening right now. That's 100 tickets each for all five people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just kidding. I hope it's more than that. No, it, th that's not many tickets. In, think about this. In Sioux Falls, that's like maybe two or three city blocks would be 500 people. Correct. I mean, you, it doesn't take uh, one apartment complex would be 500 people. So if you would like to get a ticket, do not wait. Again, I'm going to throw a link with all the information at Facebook.com slash Sunny Radio and Facebook.com slash Sioux Falls News. How much do you pay for your wireless phone? Some people spend hundreds of dollars every month for their family. That's crazy. Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. Not 50, 15, one five. Yeah, $15 a month for premium wireless. It's time for a mintervention from Mint Mobile. You can keep your same phone number. You may even be able to keep your same phone. Find out now at mintervention.com. Learn more and sign up today at mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at mintervention.com. That's mintervention.com. And now stuff Dan finds interesting. It is time for Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. Dan, what do you find interesting on this Tuesday? You know, sometimes perseverance, not sometimes, a lot of times perseverance just pays off. Yeah. It's like, you know, that first step. You take that first step, you get a thousand mile journey, you take first step, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Gotta eat a whale. You know what? It's still just one bite at one a time. Bite Eventually time. you get you betcha. Done. Maybe some big bites, but yeah. Dateline, Louisville, Kentucky. Gentleman's name is Josh Nally. Hmm. About a year ago or so, he started a little TikTok campaign. He thought it would be great to be cast as, well, a corpse yeah. in either a film or television or something. And so for, gosh, like 342 days, he posted a photo every single day of him dead. Holy cow. <laughs> Usually in the same position, kind of face now, but it'll be different locations. He, he mixed was it dead up a little bit. in a lot of different locations. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he'd post it just going, you know, <clears throat> kind of looking looking for, for a gig here. Nellie Hales <laughs> from uh, Elizabethtown, about 45 miles south of... Louisville, and he just got done being on the set. CSI Los Angeles. Oh, nice. Wow. It was an episode that Mario Van Peebles was directing, and he saw nice. this thing on TikTok. And went, you know what? You're in. We'll let you be a dead guy. Oh, you look, that's you look awesome. Dead. You're, you're pretty convincing. Yeah, so he's gonna gonna hit the screen. That uh, is awesome. Yeah, forty two year old uh, restaurant manager said he's campaigning uh, for the Wait, role. This guy was forty two. <laughs> Still is. I thought he was like. <laughs> I thought was like a kid. I thought he was like twenty one. <laughs> no, he's forty two. He's twice as old as John. You're in your mid forties. You do stuff I like would, this all yeah, the time. I wouldn't do this. Yeah. Oh, not this. <laughs> no. No, I'll wear a feather bow and a speedo through airports <laughs> yeah, with but, Crocs, but I'm not doing this. Well, I don't want to look like an idiot. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> yep. I say, man, if you want to go to, like I would say, most time he's face down. He's been in the snow, the dirt, the grass. He's been on rocks, banks of a river, someone's front lawn, local parks. Who uh, takes these photos? Uh, boy, great question. He must have the most understanding wife in the history of understanding wives. <laughs> I'm, I'm betting he's single. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's flying solo too, John. <laughs> And it's only through some kind of amazing miracle that you're not. (laughs) Will you start taking photos of me dead all over the place, Heidi? You snap a photo of me dead over here by this bike rack. (laughs) His TikTok page is uh, living my nation dead. Uh, The hypo Josh. Over 350 different different entries of him just dead, playing wow. golf. Well, it worked. Well, so you know what? The hobby. results speak for themselves. Who needs an agent when you have TikTok? Well, like I say, it was just pers- perseverance. He had yeah. a mission. He had a goal, and it actually worked out. So yeah. I kind of like it. I just thought that was kind of interesting. Yeah, I, I think it's very interesting. Good I for him. Absolutely found that him. interesting. So you'll see Josh in an upcoming episode of uh, CSI. Just that's cool. I guess just laying there. So you know this. Sh- I hope he did a good job. So they call him back. That would be good. Yeah. I, how cool <laughs> would it be if that's his him. thing? All of a sudden, his new his new gig is I'm the dead guy in every movie. <laughs> that'd be pretty, that pretty Josh? awesome, Josh? really. I think that's Josh. That's Josh. Um, this should have been our interesting news yesterday, Dan, on Halloween. Oh, that's okay. You know, it's because, you know what, coming up on, on tomorrow's oh. show, we've got more dead guys now. Oh, oh, my ooh. goodness. Kind of went on a rampage here. Nice. Well, thank you for the update, sir. Hey, no problem. Thanks for having me. You guys have a blessed, prosperous uh, rest of the first day of November. I'll catch up with wow. you tomorrow. It is the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little Credit BetterCreditCards.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Tuesday, November 1st, 2022. Equity markets pulled back Monday after a weaker-than-expected reading of the Chicago PMI came in at 45.2, which is not only contractionary, but a decline from the previous month versus the expected improvement. The takeaway from the data is that general business conditions in the U.S. have entered a contraction despite what the latest GDP data indicated. This, along with the index of leading indicators, suggests a worsening economic backdrop and not one that is improving. Later this week, the market may also be impacted by the NFP report as well as another large interest rate hike from the FOMC. The market is pricing a near 100% chance for another 75 basis point interest rate hike Wednesday, but the news may be in the statement. After the latest PCE price index reading, it looks like the FOMC will have to get more aggressive and possibly keep policy tighter for longer than has already been indicated. The good news is the S&P 500 and Dow Jones Industrial Average have had the best October in decades. If this action continues into November, it could be a November to remember. You can get the inside track at marketbeatminute.com.